Uh, so the first thing we need to do is repair the, prepare the broken feathers uh, so that we can fix the new feathers up against them. Um, so we need a nice clean edge. So we can just cut these with scissors. It's a nice hollow shaft on the feather and where the damage is, where the break is. And we can just make a nice clean cut, uh, making sure that we leave enough room for the rod to insert up into the feather shaft. Uh, that's the most important thing. Uh, if there isn't enough hold there, um, then the feather will, will probably just drop out. Um, so uh, we make sure we've, we've prepared that. And then we can take the replacement feather. Uh, we need to align it so that it's the right length on the wing. Uh, and each feather ends up a slightly different length on the wing. So we just need to be able to stretch the wing out and make sure that it's the right length. And then also the right angle as well. Because uh, all the feathers angle so that they fit each other nicely and create a, a parachute, in effect, a glider, um, so that they can be as buoyant as they possibly can. So everything's on the right angle. So we can compare with the good wing on, on that respect. And also just by doing it time and time again, you can get get the angle in your in your head um, as you repeat it. Um, the shaft we use is graphite rod. Uh, once upon a time, it used to be. Uh, cane, uh, but as life progresses and more modern materials become available, we can use graphite uh, as it's very flexible but super strong and lightweight, which is obviously key uh, for uh, trying to keep things balanced. What we don't want to do is end up with a, a heavy right or left hand side to the bird, uh, which would be unnatural. So, uh, in effect, uh, it does the job, fixes the problem. We can insert the old feather into the into the into the shaft uh, and it keeps things super lightweight. Uh, we make sure that we fix it using rapid aerodite. Uh, the beauty of aerodite is it's waterproof, super strong, but it doesn't set instantly so you've got time and room to make sure that you've got the feathers uh, perfectly aligned. And so we can insert the feather into the shaft and then we apply just a little bit of powder there can be talc or we've just got a little bit of wound powder there that we just sprinkle over it just so that any excess glue that's seeped out of the, the seams when you push the two feather shafts together um, doesn't stick to the rest of the, the feathers um, and then after about five minutes it's all ready to go.